Greetings everybody and welcome back to Car Mechanic Simulator 2018. Just making sure my headset was actually turned on then. It is. So it's been a bit it's been about a week again since I played this, as I say, you know, I don't know how much time. That I'm gonna do gonna record that after this, so there will be two going up today. In the meantime, I have got that and that, and I'm going to do a slight change on this. Oh, no, not want that. Um, not want that either. It's in the number plates. So let's go Florida. Right. And my friend wanted it custom. I said, I sp said, oh, you know, like, yeah. So, so I was going to put a use name on what I wanted, but. Wants that. Two of those. So before I crack on with that, I'm just going to quickly change these. Just because I can. And then. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's another thing. I don't know if you just noticed that. Um, I need the one that says. Uh, need, there we are. There's a. Uh, Interesting little update being brought out for this game. And it's going to make taking thumbnails so much easier. So look, um, where was it? I did see it. Um. There. Auto mode. Yeah. So. F1 change height, F2 zoom, F3 rotate. That is, I'm sorry, that is cool. That is actually cool. Gonna use that probably a bit later. But anyway, that's been changed. I'm gonna crack on with this now. So, another, now this one is a Katagari uh, Katsumoto X Tech. Yeah. So I'm gonna, sh I'm just gonna go and strip all this down. Get everything off of this. Pull the engine out. Now is that in line four? Uh, mode. I don't know. I'm getting a bit of lag at the moment now. I think I've got too much going on here. Uh, it's an iPhone, right? Anyway, let's just get everything off here. Uh, everything off the front. Take the wheels off in a minute. That is missing the door. No rear panels, but you do have the... not much of the back either. Take that off, take that out. Um, and I think take that off. So we are good there. Yeah. And now to get the wheels off. That wheel off. To the back. And wheel off. Uh, to the other side. And the front wheel. Okay. So we've got that out. Um, get the engine up. I mean the car up even. Move equipment to A. Use there any oil in the engine? No, there is not. Good. And have we got a bit bomb on this? I do. No, I don't. No, I don't. There is no oil pan. Alright. So let's just get this. Um... Oh, that, I can't take that out until I take that off. I can't see. I'll keep it. It's an I4 turbo. Right, I didn't see that. So let's just get this engine out of there. I honestly forgot this is an I4 turbo. Which means I've got to dismount all the part of the engine to get the damn thing out. Uh, engine out. Get the turbo off. Right. I don't think I need anything else to be removed, so I can lift that up. Get that out. There we go. Bring it back down. And let's just take out the cooling. Um, get the fan out, get 
the radiator out. And an engine crane. Right, try again. Move. Lift ray, not engine ray. Hey, silly boy. Silly boy. Right. Oh, gearbox. Yeah, there'll be somebody shouting at me about that. Right, so anyway, I'm going to... Let's say nobody wants to see me strip down the actual um, engine side here, so I am just going to quite happily take this apart, get it repaired, get the engine sorted out, well, get the engine out, get the, um, the running gear back in, and then I will... Uh, Box. And then I will be back to go through and tune up this little beasty engine. What well, when I say little beasty engine? It's an I4, it's not exactly going to be super beasty, but I do have some I4 stuff in there, which is going to be good. So there we go, engines out. Add engine to there. Right, that is on there. Happy days. Keep you there because I just need to pull this apart. With the floating, oh no, I thought it was floating battery then. So, I'll catch you later. Okay, guys, welcome back. Um, it won't too long for you. Probably quite well for me. Actually, I had a phone call in between this. So, I've got the running gear all in. Uh, I did break quite a bit of it. I think one side, pretty much half of one side had gone. The other side were fine. Um, ABS, all that inside there went fine. That's in. So, it is now time to work on this lovely beast. This, well, this rusty piece of crap. This lovely beast. Lovely piece of crap. Uh, let's get the let's get the front off. Uh, we don't want to take the all here off just yet. Now I do. Uh, water pump. So again, usual routine with this one. Since it's a full restart, I'm going to use the tuning parts. Uh, right, so it's an I4, not the I4B. Good. Ooh. Ooh, I see better days. Uh, and it falls off. Uh, what's anything on? Oh, yeah. Guess get the clutch and everything off as well. I meant to do that earlier. i got to remember to get a clutch release bearing because those things are like um, rocking or proverbial when it comes to this. I feel filter. Get up top here, get the throttle off. Uh, manifold. Direct injection, right. So it's a direct. Yeah, for real DI. Um, aha. Ignition coil. The engine head. Nice to see they just pop out, there's no covers to worry about. I love the i4 engine, it's so much easier to work with. He says, who now needs to get underneath it. Alright, over you go. Throw you on your side. Throw you on your side, I can poke around inside now. There we go. Before anyone says anything, yes, I know what I said. That's, uh, that rod cap were um, actually sticking through the side. Let's uh, do it this way. Oh, come on. Crankshaft. Engine block. Now, let's see what I can repair. There's going to be a lot of this braking. I hope I didn't break the engine block. Well, something's broken, guarantee that. Uh, no, 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 need to. No, 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 I need to. Need to do this. There we are. Engine block. Yeah. Alright, the engine block broke. Bollocks. I don't have one either. I thought. 
I4 engine a block. Just the I4. Not the I4B, but the I4. Uh, and now, um, let's do. What, I'll put in what I can for now. Yep, that's done. I need yeah, the pistons. I can't do alternator oil filter. I need. And I do need to get. I'll need the alternator pump and pistons. Alternator. Need the clutch from that. I need one of them. Uh, I think it's. I believe it's that one I need. I think I might also have one of those on a flywheel. I need a fuel filter. I need that. Uh, fuel wheel direct injection. Oh, no, no, not one. I need four of those. Piston recon rods, one, two, three, four. Oops, four of those. Uh, I need a power steering pump. I need four of those. And a V and the I4 throttle. And I need a turbo. That I remembered. I think I've got most of what I need now. Um, let's put. I need the rings. That's what I need. I need. I need. I need to get some rings. Um, Piston rings. Let's do four piston rings. Yeah, just press N. I just love the fact that you can actually press enter and just go through it like that. Uh, camshaft bearings, nice, they're all on. Nice, all of them repaired. That's done. Need the oil. Ah, the oil pan. I for oil pan. That's what I wanted. And you'll do something you need to buy. Alternator, not that one. I'm making a nice selection of um, bits and pieces here. Uh, engine head, I right is the I is the I4 engine head, right? Where is it? Where are you? I need the head. Where's the head? Engine head I4. There we go. That one. That one. And the camshaft. Now, I don't think there is any high profile camshafts, is there? Um, oh. oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. I saw something. Take money for the eye. 
And that's multi point intake manifold DI. You the B1. Nice and shiny, a lot of glare. And the throttle. And I think that's uh, oh, fuel filter. Yeah, I've got the good one. Intake manifold. Percent. Full cover. Right. That's on. And now it's cam gears, they don't repair, do they now? Right, oops, don't want to go there. I'm gonna go to here. And cam. Cam gear, two of those. Timing belt. That's a standard timing belt there. And a bit under cover. Pulley, idle roller. So idler A and a crank. A, crank. Uh, what else do I need? Gotta think. I also need... There's something else I need. I'm there making hand gestures trying to figure it out. Something I need to put in here. It's tensioner, that's it, belt. It's the belt tensioner. But, uh, serpentine belt B. Tensioner, yeah, I've needed it. Don't be paired to those. Belt A. And I believe that's the engine. So let's take the engine off the stand. Install engine into bay. Part uh, mount. Now I've got to get under, oh, got to get under there now, haven't I? Mount. It is right. It's the front exhaust section turbo. Do I have a? Do I have anything for this? Front exhaust section turbo. Hey, there we go. Now, let's just put that down and put that turbo in. Turbo. A nice meaty one. Get that back up. Part mount. The cat middle exhaust pipe rear muffler. Let's see. Um, yeah, where are we? Let's get to the bottom. Middle muffler. Ah, they don't have it. They don't have it. They have the middle muffler. We don't have a catalytic converter, do we? We don't have a cat. Oh, we do. Let's see if we're looking. Exhaust and rear muffler C. So it's the pipe. Just put 
pipe. Let's see if there is one. It probably isn't. Oh no, there we go. And yeah, it's rear muff. It's um, rear muffler. Yeah, yeah, rear muffler C. Okay. Oh, I came out of there. Muffler. Could do with one of those. Right now, rear muffler C. There you go. So I believe that is all of the underside now done. Um, air filter, air cap, it's clear clutch plate. That's internals. Spark plugs, I put them in, yeah. <laughs> I knew it was something I forgot on the engine. But at least it's going to be done while in the engine bay, so I can't complain at that. Right, then one of those. She had an ignition car plus one. Haha. <laughs> Sweet. So I think that's now engine wise done. Yep. And that's just all the fancy bits in here. Air filter. Air filter cover. Now. Moment of truth. How many of these fit broke? Two. This clip. I forgot which clips they are now. Clip A, I believe. Uh, I could be wrong, but I think they are clip A's. Yes. Well, enough of them, I should really know. So that's now. The fuel tank starter. Ah! That's the point. So, what starters have we got? Nothing. So, just do a normal starter. I need that for that, we need that for the gearbox as well. So let's get it up in the air. Um, clutch release bearing. Clutch plate. And that's wrong mark. God's sake. Right, get up here, bum mount, take that one off. Part mount. That one. That one. Nice shiny. Release bearing. Did the gearbox repair? It repaired. Good. Drive shaft. Ooh, that can that's just a pile of metal, is that? Front uh, drive shaft. There we go. Drive axle. Plus three. Put you on there. Then the wheels afterwards, and I think we'll be done it. Then with this car, more or less. So now it's just the wheels. Let's go for, um, hello. Can I repair anything now? Don't know why I did that. Great parts. So they are 18 inch wheels by the looks of it. Let's see if I can repair the hubs. It's not cost me too much, this actually, to repair. So what are they? They're 18 inches, classic rims 18. Let's see what the tyres are. So the tyres... Uh, not that one. The tyres, where are they? I've got some shit in here to get rid of. Um, yeah, I need to get rid of a lot of this. Back into me, do we care? Tyres, 
uh, sports sport tyres 235.30 235.30s sports tyres 235.30s I see wheels. Nope, can't get anything to balance. Want to install. What I'm going to do, guys, is I'm just going to cut it here. I'm going to get these wheels installed on that car, make sure everything's together, and then I'll get the bodywork put on. So I will be back in a second. Hello again, guys. I'm, I'm back. So I've put the fuel tank in, which I forgot. Um, everything is now all in the engine department. Yep, so plus one and a few things, a plus three, is plus two there. Stuff I had in me in, in warehouse which I managed to fit on, a plus one to ignition coil. Um, so that's going to add a little bit more to it. So now let's do the assembly mode. In fact, actually, first things first. No, 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 no come on, come on, out there. I need these bits. I need to move that. Um, detailing. Goes to Carlifter A. And the welder. Can't lift away. So use the equipment. There we go, repair the bodywork. Fix the interior. Speaking of which. Get out. Get out. Get out. Uh, nope, not assemble mode. Normal mode. Interior. Okay, get out. We go. You're out of the way. Get out. Get come on out. Out no more, thank you. Uh, assemble. So the hood. I'm going to use the new um, modded parts for the bodywork. I want to see how they look. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. No, 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 no. Did I miss a body panel? Apparently I did. Not body parts anyway. That's better. Um, yes, excuse me. Come here through. Uh, do -do -do -do. Rear tail lights. Right, I've got... Th that's what the original tail light was. I'm going to try these. See how they look first. And I've got bump the original bumper. I've got bumper C and bumper B, so I'm going to try bumper B first. Yeah. Oh, that's well, rear, rear, rear window. Uh, that's the rear window. For some reason, I thought it was the front window. Very close, I think. Actually, relatively good condition to start with with this car. Fenders on. Rear front bumper. So we go with B, right at the back. And I'm gonna go with these ones. I think. Now I'm gonna see. So that's the sit. No, they don't look that much different. They really do not look that much different. Which one do I like the look of? I'm gonna go with the. I'm gonna go with the B. I think. Yeah, I'm gonna stick with the B's for the front. That actually does look quite good. That. Uh, the rear. Hmm. Don't know. I'll try the other ones. Yeah, I'm going to go with the bees at the back here. Bumper. Assemble. 
angle of bumper. Let's try bumper C. You know, that actually looks sportier. No, I'm sticking with that. That does look sportier. So, now for number plates. We're not going to do Florida plates this time. We're going to... Alright, I'm going to just do this. And... Uh, da, da. Austria. Got some Austrian plates for this car. Now, just the inside seat fabric. Cats. Well, cat. The steam wheel one. Um, I can't move the car. Um, yeah, uh, take the dog off. Keep forgetting about that, do the interior first. Cat. I'm gonna go black. Yeah, I'm gonna go black leather. Cat. Okay. And then it is a steam wheel one, basic wheel. But I like it's a sporty number. So I'm gonna go with these two. Yep, that is a 100% now done car, worth 100 grand, and I think I paid 20k for it. So move, so let's move the car into the paint shop, and put some oil in it as well. Yes, silly plonker here, forgot to put the oil in it. to remember that I put on a checklist of things to do. Right. So that's that done. No, done down. And now let's paint it. I'm thinking I don't like that green. Don't go. It kinda has a Subaru sort of look to it vibe, doesn't it? Go the orangey colour. No, I don't like the matte. Um, pearl. You know, I actually like the comedian. Right, this. No, it doesn't work too much. Uh, I like the chameleon. Uh, Livery Katsuruto. Oh, yeah, drift cars. <laughs> Um, Katsumoto 2. <laughs> no. No. Uh, yeah, it's time. We'll take that. I do. That is a nice looking car. And uh, now move to the dyno. Let's see what we get out of it. So we're all. That is. I actually. I like that. I don't know how you, I don't know how you lot are gonna go with that because I, I like it in a way. I do like it, but it's unusual. It's an unusual colour. 
So it was reaching 189 brake horsepower with 251 newton meters of torque. Front wheel drive, let's see what she goes. Go on turbo, kick in. Right, so about 300. Yeah, 305. Goal, 305. That's a fair, that's a fair old chunk, is that? It's almost double the horse. It's back, yeah, well, it's 50% more horsepower. Now, now I'm going to have to now move this car back to one of these lifters. Because... I am now going to run these three around the race course for you. So I will be back when I get there. Hi guys, here we go. It's the Bolt F mill. I am going to give this a bit of a whiz now. I could use it from the back, you know. Um, but I think I'll do it from inside. You know, I'll do it from the outside. So let's go. Um, it's gonna go in. Look at this. No drive. It's automated vehicles. These. same Spectre Fastback. Uh, this is the one I do for my friend. I do kind of like the, the red now, actually thinking about it. So let's uh, get this one all under the way. Go on, spin the wheels. Oh, jeez. Uh, she's a handful. Yeah. She's a bit of a handful, is this one? Yeah, I don't think I'm going to get around this track in one piece with her. That is... She's a bit of a 
drifter. She also likes to lurch to the... She likes to... Whoa. Hmm. Yeah. She likes to be your left. I'll tell you that. I mean to right. So she changes gear. Hey. Got a happy back end. I suppose most people. I suppose I guess most people do like a happy back end at times. But this one, I don't think it knows which way she's turning. Oh shit! Yeah. Okay. This is what came with the car. Got your second gear. Got your third gear. We're getting somewhere. I thought we're getting somewhere. It's taking two minutes to just get around with hat and start a lap. Come on. No, come on, game. I don't, know, I don't know where that bug regarding changing tyres to slicks has actually fixed it. Yeah, 600, nearly, yeah, 600, nearly 600 brake horsepower through the skinny tyres is not going to work. There we go. Oh, nope, nope, nope. Yeah, she's... Uh, I'm going to call this, I think I may call this one as a bit of a... I'm going to have to look at changing the tyres on her and try again at a later date. Breaks loose very easy. Go take a steady gate around here. She don't want to turn. She don't want to turn either. I just love American muscle. That is what. Right. Either she wants to turn two. Sh well, come on, get get a grip. Getting somewhere. Well, well, maybe not. Spoke too soon. Think about it. Come on. She doesn't like, she doesn't want to be here, does she? to do it about a minute faster than the last time uh yeah i'm gonna have to sort this one out try different tires on a later date but yeah interesting car very interesting back in a sec with the um category okay here we go the final car the category katsimuto which i was trying to say in the last clip with the other car anyway let's see what um let's see how the 300 brake horsepower works on this car Oh, she sounds funny. Eh? But at the same time, that sounds so nice. Um, yeah, it's front wheel drive. Forgot about that. In heaven to understeer on a front wheel drive car. But she's running sports tyres as well. Ah, handbrake. Yes, there is handbrake. Found the handbrake. It's 
Space bar, power leaves the handbrake. Stacy grips, which is a good thing, I suppose. Right. Uh, understeer corner entry on power, but oversteer corner exit on power. This one's actually probably going to do, if I can get this to about under 110, I'm going to be happy with this car. She's a beauty. I think so far, I just found my favourite car. If she doesn't, if I don't, if I don't, if the brakes work. a little there, I know. Maybe cut it quite a lot actually. So straight through here. Whoop. Did not want to do with that. It's like a straight line there. Probably done a sub one minute with this car, you know. Not me. Well, yeah, well, I'm happy. I'm under one minute ten. Could have gone about one minute seven. But that is actually is a nice car. She's actually a very nice car to drive. A bit understeery, but stable. Okay. I'm happy with that one. Anyway, I'll see you all back in the garage back in a sec. And guys, I am back. So, we have. A handful, but as I said, I'm not selling this car, so this one's going to be a little bit of a test one. As a friend, I'm going to probably widen the tight, get some wider wheels on her, probably go for full slick, see how she handles. That is 600 brake horsepower, though. That is just the 600. That is just stupid, stupid, ridiculous power under 60k tyres. Yeah, you know, to be honest, that needs a better engine. It does. But, you know, to have something this big with such a CG engine, you know. I would say phenomenal cosmic power to bitty living space, but that's that one there. Um, and this one, she's a nice, she's beauty to drive. Unfortunately, I am actually going to have to sell this one. I've got 204k, I've got a third lifter there, but I'm only keeping that one. These two are getting sold. So this one's going to be 100, just over 100k. It's a shame to see her go, but she's a nice car, and to be honest, if you actually want one to have a good drive around, it's it's worth it. It's definitely worth up doing one of these. So, goes that car for 100k. And to Bolt F Mill. Yeah. Yep, gonna have to um gonna have to sell her as well. So yeah. Forty three grand. Then you're going to the garage. Move car. Park it. So there, I'm keeping that one. So anyway guys, thanks for being here. Like if you've liked what you see, subscribe if you want to see more of those. I'm going to try next time though to actually updo the car and then race it because I should just realised this. The plan was to do three cars up and then test them out, but no, it's not it's not worked out that well, so I'll do the next car and then test it, see how it goes. So anyway, take care and I'll catch you next time. Bye for now.